Do you really need to practice all of the rudiments? I mean, you could, but I mostly use these five. What's up everyone, CJ here, I hope you're all doing well. I'm just gonna say it. Practicing rudiments is good, but it can become a bit boring. Yes, they are the building blocks of a lot of drum fills and stuff, but honestly, I don't practice all 40 of them. I mean, for example, I've never been hired professionally for a gig just because I can play the potty flafla. So why should I focus too much on it? So in this drum lesson, I'm gonna show you five rudiments that I almost always use in my playing. Before we get started, all my channel members out there can download everything from this lesson, including the click tracks, the transcriptions, and my drum tracks in the link in the member community tab. So if you want some extra content from all my videos, consider joining the channel membership. Now, let's start with rudiment number one. Yes, the inverted paradiddle. Granted, I do use all of the permutations of the paradiddle in my playing, but I just love how you can phrase the inverted paradiddle. The sticking for this is right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. All the single strokes are played as accents and all the diddles are played as ghost notes. Let's practice the sticking at 70 BPM and gradually increase the tempo. Now you can orchestrate it around the drum set and come up with some really cool phrasings. Pretty cool, right? Okay, time for rudiment number two. I use this rudiment all the time. The six stroke roll is extremely versatile. I often play this as sextuplets or 16th note triplets instead of the straight marching style rolls. And the sticking for this is right, left, left, right, right, left. Let's try it out at 70 BPM and gradually increase the tempo.
And as always, try to orchestrate it around the drum set. All right, you guys, rudiment number three. The left flam triplet is definitely one of my favorite rudiments. This is basically one half of the flam accent, and since we're only making use of the left flam, many drummers refer to this as the left flam triplet. The sticking for this is left flam, right left. Let's try it out. Now try it around the drums. You can play this both as triplets and as sixteenth notes in groups of three. Awesome, you guys. If you're still watching, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out whenever I post a video. Time for rudiment number four. The rudiment coined by Ned Flanders himself, the paradiddle diddle. This rudiment is the paradiddle with an extra set of diddles or double strokes with a left hand, so it turns into a sextuplet subdivision. The sticking for this is right, left, right, right, left, left. Let's give it a try.
Now the cool thing is that you can combine the paradiddle diddle with other rudiments so you can come up with some really cool phrasings. So for example, you can play two paradiddle diddles and one paradiddle, like this. All right, you guys, we've arrived at the fifth and final rudiment. The blushta. I've said this in a video before, but I know, it sounds like a sneeze or something. A blushta. But trust me, it's a rudiment. It's really cool to play around with on the drum set, and the sticking for this is left flam, right, right, left. It's basically a left flam triplet, but with a diddle in the middle. Hey, that rhymes. Anyway, let's try it out at a slow tempo and gradually increase the speed. And lastly, bring it to the drum set and have some proper fun with this. I hope you get to come up with some really fun drum fills with these rudiments. And if you're a channel member, you'll find all the downloadable content in the link in the community tab. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated whenever I release a new video. If you want to practice some grooves that helps with your weaker hand, check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching everyone and good luck with your drumming. I'll see you soon.